Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. So what I want to talk about in this video is these controls that you have on the developer tab. If you don't see the developer tab, right click on any other tab. So view, right click, customize ribbon, and then tick the developer tab on. It will stay on from that point onwards. Now these controls are fairly simple to use. You've got an AA, and then another AA, one is rich text. If you click on it, you'll get that on the screen. If I just press enter on that to get the other one. If I click on the second one, you get that. It looks almost identical, but it's just slightly different formatting. Now to edit this, you basically need to go into design mode and then you can edit it. So if I put enter name there, you can edit that enter age on this one need to get rid of all that stuff first enter age for example if you go into properties you can also give it a little title at the top here so if i put age there as a title I'll just click ok to that for a second so you can see what i mean there it goes there look sometimes that's a bit over the top in the way if i do that one um properties I'll just put name there name okay and then come out of design mode enter name click on that you've got the name there click on that you've got the age there so I've come down and then you've got a picture one I'll go and get one of those so you just got an image get an image from stock images just create an icon pair of glasses that'll do there's your glasses there's the image control now another one next to it you've got quick parts if you've been using auto text you'll be able to utilize that feature in here so when you drop this down you want to select an auto text entry so if i go into properties down the bottom here you've got quick parts if i drop that down you've got auto text at the top and then you've got your galleries if you've created galleries which i have one general anything in that gallery will be available on this drop down so these are all the auto text entries you can see i've got quite a few if i put that in there let's drop that in now coming down again you've got a little ticky box I get rid of this text here I don't want that get rid of all of this get rid of that image one as well so now we've got a checkbox you can tick that on or off it's up to you straightforward then you have like a combo box and a list option pretty similar if I go for the combo box first when you drop this down you want a list of items so if i go into properties on this this is how you do that so if you click on add and then you put in what you want so i'll put word okay and then add excel and so on this becomes the list okay to that and then if i click okay and then drop that arrow down click off that a minute Those options are in there and when you click on one that's what you get and then you click back onto the other one and if you want you can put a default option there of none or whatever you want now coming down from that another one is the date field so that list option is very similar to that other one if I click on the date again you've got options in there properties for the dates you can have it displayed in a certain way so if i just want the year for example i could just put four y's there and then okay when i select a date it should just put the year in there for me instead of the whole date come down again next line down you have this repeating section option this is quite useful if you've got multiple people filling in a form and you've got name age and then all this sort of stuff but you want that repeating you can just basically highlight all of this and then click that 
So all of those controls become part of this. And then if I want a repeat of this, I can just click on that little plus and it gives me a repeat of it. And that's what that's all about, it repeating sections. When you've got multiple choices, say example, you've got three cars and you want to register three cars, all the details are, are already laid out, car type, car make, etc., year of manufacture, and you want three of them, that's what that would be good for, clicking on repeat in section. Now all of them have their own options in design mode, as you can see there, and they, are, they also have properties which you can tweak some of the properties, give them names as I showed you before. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the controls area on the developer tab to create yourself an interactive form. So thanks for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.